All right, hello and welcome to our We Choose to Thrive Boot Camp video series. My name is Kaylin Ravenzi. And I am Becky Norwood. And we are the founders of Women Up International, a platform for abuse survivors and thrivers to continue to find help and healing wherever they are on their healing journey. So today's video is focusing on making the conscious choice to go beyond suffering and shed the victim mentality. So Becky, there's a saying that pain is required, but suffering is optional. Regarding abuse, how does a woman go beyond the suffering and shed that victim mentality? I think it comes down to the to really being listening to that inner voice within and making the decision to stand up and speak up yeah. for yourself. And yeah. when you do that, as you gain the courage to do that, then you slowly begin to find your own inner truth and you find the the strength to keep moving forward. But the thing is, is we keep it quiet. Yeah. So I've got a question for you. Define for us inner truth. What does that mean to you? Inner truth is, is the recognition of the amazing person that you truly are inside and how unlimited you are truly. And, you know, we, we grow up with the limitations, yeah. you know, but realizing that by the power of our own heart and mind, we can, we can break free from this and we can, we can excel. We can be joyful. We can live happy lives. We can be a force for change in the world. And, Absolutely. and you know what? I was told I was ugly all my life. I was ugly and stupid. And when I, I used to look far from the truth, far from the but truth. But that's what you, when you're taught that, when yeah. you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, wow, I am amazingly beautiful. I know, right? You know, it is, <laughs> I do. It changes everything. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And then it's true. We literally look at ourselves in the mirror and we're like, dang, I am <laughs> awesome. I am gorgeous. I am, mm, right? Right. And, and, yeah. and you know what? For sometimes we just got to fake it till we make it. And, and, and as I coach my clients, I'm like, you, you grow into that swagger. You just keep doing it until you feel that it's a part of you. And at first it may not feel like it is. Just like shedding the victim mentality. You may think, is that really what I'm doing? But when we start faking it till we're making it and walking into who we want to be, and I mean this is practicing walking confidently with your head up, your chest out, your booty back, and you are saying, I am awesome. You That's know, and it, it's it's not about being disrespectful of anything. Oh. It's it's all about just owning your power and owning your beauty, your yes. true inner beauty. And you know what? Maybe you're not as is in your perception as beautiful as the next person you know you think well look at i've got some wrinkles around my eyes i've got weight on me i've got all these things but the, the truth of it is when we start to find ourselves beautiful mm -hmm. we radiate beauty we attract differently mm -hmm. we attract friendships and we attract mm -hmm. the right circumstances in our lives because we're raising our vibration um within us to to start radiating something different, you know? So it, beautiful. So cool. I love it. So this is perfect. So really, what does it mean for us to take back our power? And who are we giving our power away to in the first place? We've given our power away to our perpetrator. Mm -hmm. We've given our power away to anything and everything that is, is not powerful for us. Mm -hmm. and, and it could we, also be our family. Yeah. Our children, our employers, our friends, those are definitely and places we can give our power away. When we're used to giving, when we have given our power away, we seem to be able to give our power away to just anybody and everything and attract, attract situations into our life where that's repeated over and over again until we make that choice. Yeah. So it, it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, you know, for myself, even my transformation of taking back my power and understanding my power and recognizing my power 
how much my life has changed. Oh, and you know, what it really comes down to is understanding that we are so powerful. And power, when we're talking owning our power, that means full responsibility for everything that's happened, the good, the bad, the ugly. Owning it all. If we've done something stupid, we own it. If we've done something great, we own it. If we, And we're talking us, no one else, just us. If I've made or said something that was wrong, I own it. I take care of it because what it comes down to is if, if, if I'm the problem and I've created this problem here, I'm the solution too. You know, you know I can get myself out of this. Right? It comes to something so very simple. I, I teach this even to my grandchildren. And a couple of weeks ago, one of my beautiful little granddaughters was here, and she loves to do crafts. Yes. And she was sitting outside, and she got this little craft kit with these little tiny beads. And she was creating, and she could. She spent the whole. And she's a very, very hyper child. Yeah. And and yet here she was. She spent the whole afternoon doing this mm -hmm. with these little beads and creating these little designs. Mm -hmm. And when we first started, I have to admit this. I was thinking, oh. <laughs> Because there was this little <laughs> squirt bottle, and she kept spraying it, and she would spray it, and I'm thinking, oh, it's got glue in it, and it's going to be a mess. <laughs> and I, and then, oh. so she opened the top of this little squirt bottle, and she poured water in it. Oh, and I won't use her name because I want to protect sure. that right now. I said, oh, honey, you can't do that. That's, you know, that's going to dilute the glue, and those little things, the little beads are not going to... They're not going to, it's not going to work if they're just going to ruin the glue. But it, me, I'm thinking, oh, what a mess. <laughs> and so she said, Grandma, it's just water. And I said, no, honey, that's not water. It's got glue in it. And this, you're going to be, it's, you're, these little beads are not going to stick. Yeah. Grandma, it is water. And I, and I said, now you need to tell me the truth. So we, we, she looked at me on kind of this expression, and, and she kept working. And I walked in, and I, I said to her mother, she's just going to mess this project up because she's diluting that spray bottle with water. And she goes, Mom, it is water. Oh, right. So I went out, and I apologized yeah. to her because yes. I was doubting her. Mm -hmm. And I, the purpose in apologizing yeah. And this is a simple example of what we are talking about. Absolutely. The purpose of apologizing is to teach her mm -hmm. that we don't always say or do the right things. And that was something very simple, but I wanted to teach her. And then I brought her in and apologized in front of her parents mm -hmm. and said, you know, I would have never dreamed that that, could have, that water was going to make these little beads stay together. <laughs> And whether the, you know, I don't know, you because she, she, it's okay, Grandma, it's okay. But it, it, the thing is, is it's a teaching time, yeah. because I wasn't too big and too important and too. I'm your grandma. You got to listen. Right. I taught her that she, that that I can own up. Yeah, and to, that's the we have to own up to our mistakes. Yeah, right. We, right. It's important, and to 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 be able to give her the example that I say, I'm sorry. You know, yeah. I would have never dreamed that that was water, you know. <laughs> well, and, and you take a look at this. Do you see how powerful you were in that moment to tell her, I am sorry. I was at fault. You were right. That was not only a lesson for her in understanding that we as adults can definitely be wrong, but it was also a lesson for her to see that, that you're powerful because you owned your mistake, that right. you had made right that's that is just such a beautiful beautiful thing thank you for sharing that with <laughs> us it's something simple but it but it really does speak to you know the very fact that maybe that we've stayed in abusive situations and that yeah. we haven't haven't taken well that was our thing yeah you know and yeah. the very fact that maybe in those abusive situations we've said and done things that were not right either Absolutely. Um, because we don't know how to react. We don't know how to rise above. But as we as we begin to blossom into the the women we truly are, mm -hmm. we part of that piece is to own up to say, yes. Wow, I you know, and we can't look back. We cannot keep we can't just face backwards and say, Oh, look at all the things I did wrong. But yeah. just own it and say, 
it is what it is, but this is my life going forward. Because I choose now to change it, I and choose. I can. In yeah. spite of my past, in spite of what happened to me, in spite of my perpetrator, perpetrators, I am now choosing today to live my life, and that's their issue that they now have to deal with. That's right. This is my life, this is and me. I'm going to live it. That's Absolutely. Right. So now we take a look. So why do we do this? That there's this, you know, choose to live this victim lie. And I think you've answered it for the most part is that we still think that we have to live in the past. And, and that as we dwell in that space, that and truly a false illusion is what it is because it's already happened. And it's, we're not going back there. And, and that's where the lies live. Mm -hmm. And here we have the ability now in our present state, our present moment, to create the truth and to live in the truth. It typically boils down to the shame and guilt. Yeah. Um, you know, and the fear. Mm -hmm. Shame, guilt, and fear. And, and that, that rules our lives for a very yeah. long time. Very long time. You know. I agree. And so rising above the shame, guilt, and fear and putting it aside yeah. um, helps us grow into the women that we are. And it doesn't matter what age we are. If you're, if you're a a teenager and you're recognizing this thing, oh, it took me till I was 60 years old to say, I'm done with this. Even though I had, I think all my life said I was done, I didn't, didn't recognize how to come out of it yeah. and stand up on my own power. It still hung over me, you know. I, did, I think many times in my, my life, raising my children, doing all these things, I did make I was on my journey. I was yeah. making right choices. But the internal conflict yeah. of the shame and the guilt and the fear still hung over my head. Yeah. So, yes, I was doing many of the right things. I didn't take a path of following the same footsteps. But it, until you finally just break free of all that yeah. shame, guilt, and fear, then, then you can't grow to that place where you start radiating the beauty that you are. You know, this brings to mind, I've got to, um, I, I know I've got some friends and their sisters and they were each um, molested by their grandfather. And the thing that's very interesting to me is you take a look at these two women now and their lives are very different. And so my mom actually asked one of the, them, she's like, what's the difference between you and your sister? And she says, I chose to survive and she chose to be a victim. And, and we really, it's really a choice, whether we consciously or subconsciously make it, it's still a choice that we do, whether we want to be something so much more and rise above the abuse, whatever that was, and be able to go on to do great things. And the great things just may be that you're happy. You're not out to change the world, but it just may be that you literally decide that you wake up and you are happy and that you love your life and you love you. That's a well, great thing. That is amazing. Yes. To be happy. That, yes. <laughs> to be you truly know. happy. And, yes. and if we're happy, mm. It, mm. it wears off on those around us. It's, yes. It makes a difference in our families. It makes a difference in our communities. It makes a difference in our world because it changes yeah. everything around us. But, yeah. oh, my goodness, first step is learning to be happy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, really that learning, learning to, to be, be happy. happy. Yeah. So, you know, once we've shed those lies and we've gone beyond the suffering, you know, really, what lays on the other side for us to reach for? Mm. Mm. You feel it, right? You and I, we don't even have to say it. We just feel it. It's like, mm, it's yummy. <laughs> I, I would it's not, just really yummy. I would not trade my life now for anything in the world, you know, um, and you know, for me, the, for those of us, for those that don't know me from, you know, a little bit of my past, yeah. um, I finally at 60 decided to, to, sh to not only to write my story, but to share it with the world. I know. I'm so happy. But what happened from that is as I wrote my story, everything changed for me. It was like, mm -hmm. as I wrote my story, and yeah, I cried through writing my story, and I rebelled against writing my story, and I didn't want to think about those issues, and to talk about them was very difficult. But in the process, it took the power away yes. from the story that had written into my life for mm -hmm. so many years. Mm -hmm. And in the process, I wrote a new story. Yeah. And, and 
It's been amazing. Okay, so this is what I think is so phenomenal. You published your book in August of 2016. You and I met October 27th of 2016. And here we are skyrocketing, literally. I feel like we have just been trajectory straight up into the sky where unlimited potential lies. And and look, because you wrote your story and, and you made that decision, and I too made that decision, I see how the universe has brought us together in the most remarkable way. And here we are now creating something beautiful, Women Up International, helping women to not just survive but to vibrantly thrive. In, in their lives and to know that they can, you know, have more and do more, but be more. The beingness of ourselves is what it's is so beautiful. So being. And, you know, mm. from that book, within six months, um, I also had attracted 30 other women that were willing to tell their stories. And in that book, we made, without any mm. advertising, without anything like that, it's just among the 30 of us sharing out. We reached well over 10,000 lives that have watched those videos from that book launch that we did of 30 women deciding to stand, and you were one of them. Yeah. Uh, amazing, and, and still people, those are being seen, and still people are, hmm. are coming in and saying, I'm ready to thrive. Yeah. And you know, it's going to take, because you and I, we've got this Women Up International, which is the million women message movement that we've got behind it. It's all these yes. fun things. But, but as more of us rise, yeah. we, change, we change our world. Yes. You know, and that's what it's all about. We change our families. Yeah. First and foremost, we change ourselves. Yeah. You know? The healing, and we feel the healing, we see the healing, we, we, we roll in the healing, and so does the rest of anyone who comes in touch with us. They cannot help but feel the healing, and, and notice that there's something that's so beautiful, and say, gee, I want to be a part of that. I yeah. want to have that in my life, too. So. Uh, yeah, the sisterhood that is being created from this is very um, amazing. It is so very amazing. So we want to, you know, really thank everyone today for joining us in this We Choose to Thrive Boot Camp video series. Our next video, we're going to be learning to forgive ourselves, forgive our perpetrators, and those who should have protected us but didn't. And so we just want to thank you for taking time to join us here at Women Up International where women choose to vibrantly thrive. And if you found this helpful, we encourage each of you to continue your healing journey through the power of our vibrantly thriving formula where steps are broken down to help each of you, regardless of the abuse, to empower your healing journey and choose to vibrantly thrive. So thank you so much for being here with us today.